Audio book of Environmental Studies, textbook for class 4, entitled Looking Around. This is the chapter 11, The Valley of Flowers, from page 84 to page 95. Page 84. In the hills of Uttaranchal, there is a place where there are flowers everywhere. This place is called the Valley of Flowers. In some places, one sees red flowers blooming on bushes, while in others, one finds white flowers peeping out between the stones. There are wide areas carpeted with the brightest yellow flowers, and suddenly, elsewhere, blue flowers shining like tiny stars between the grass. All this seems like a beautiful dream, doesn't it? Yes, because like a dream, these flowers bloom only for a few weeks in the year. Now, close your eyes and imagine that you have reached such a place. How does it feel? Which songs do you feel like singing? Question. Have you ever seen so many flowers grow together anywhere? Where? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. How many differently colored flowers have you seen? Question. Write their colors. Write your answers in the blank spaces provided. Page 85. Question. Now you were just left counting, weren't you? Are there any things in your house which have designs of flowers made on them? Like clothes, sheets, vases, etc.? Here is a floral design in the box below. There is a picture of a floral design in a box with some text around it. The text reads as The design in the picture is called Madhubani. It is a very old form of folk art. Do you know why it is called Madhubani? There is a district in Bihar called Madhubani. Here, during festivals and happy occasions, the walls of the houses and their courtyards are painted with such pictures. These paintings are made out of paste of powdered rice in which colour has been mixed. The colours used in Madhubani painting are very special too. To make them, indigo, that is, neel, turmeric, that is, haldi. Colours from flowers and trees, etc. are used. The paintings show human beings, animals, trees, flowers, birds, etc. Draw your own design in your notebook and colour it as well. Question. Look at the designs made by your friends as well. For the teacher. Encourage children to locate Uttarakhand on the map. Page 86. The world of flowers. Here are some pictures of flowers. Mark a tick mark on the flowers which you recognize. Write their names too if you know. Below this we have pictures of nine different flowers. Next to each picture is a space for putting a tick mark and also under each picture is a blank space provided for writing their names if you know. Question. From the pictures given above and other flowers that you know, give names of two which grow on trees, dash, dash, grow on bushes, dash, dash. Page 87. Grow on creepers. Dash, dash, grow on water plants, dash, dash, bloom only at night, dash, dash.
bloom in the day and close at night. Dash, dash. Question. Which flowers can you recognize by their scent, even with your eyes closed? Dash, dash. Question. Which flowers bloom all the year round? Dash, dash. Question. Which flowers bloom only in certain months? Dash, dash. Are there any trees or plants which never have any flowers? Find out and write. There is a blank space provided for your answer. Why this? Question. There is a picture of a board in the right-hand corner of the page on which is written do not pluck flowers. Next to this picture we have some questions. Have you ever seen a board like this put up anywhere? Do people pluck flowers even when this board is there? Why do you think they do this? Should they do this? What would happen if everybody plucked flowers? Page 88. Let us look closely. Children who can bring flowers may bring one or two flowers to class. Remember that you must collect only fallen flowers. Do not pluck any flower. Make groups of three or four children and look at one flower carefully. What is the color of the flower? Dash. What kind of a scent does it have? Dash. What does it look like? A bell, a bowl, a brush, or anything else? Dash. Do these flowers grow in bunches? Dash. How many petals does it have? Dash. Are all the petals joined together or separate? Dash. Outside the petals, can you see any green leafy structure? How many are there? Dash. Inside the petals, in the middle of the flower, can you see some thin structures? Write its color. Dash. Page 89. When you touch these, do you find a powdery thing on your hands? Dash. Blooming buds. You must have seen buds on the plants. If there are any flower-bearing plants growing near your school or home, look carefully at their buds. Next to this, on the right-hand side, we have a picture of a flower and a couple of buds. Below the picture, there are some questions. What differences do you find between a flower and a bud? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Draw the picture of a bud and its flower in your notebook. Can you tell how many days will a bud take to bloom into a flower? Let us try and find out. Choose a bud that is growing on a plant and look at it every day. Write the name of the plant. Give your answer in the blank space provided. When you first saw this bud, the date was dash. Now, when the bud has bloomed into a flower, the date is dash. How many days did the bud take to become a flower? Dash. Write your answers in the blank spaces provided. Ask your friends the names of the different flowers that they have seen. How much time did it take their buds to become flowers? Also observe how many days the same flower took to dry. Page 90. So many uses. Flowers are even eaten. What are the different ways we use flowers in our daily life? Do you know that flowers can be eaten as well? 
many flowers are cooked as vegetables. In Uttar Pradesh, Firoza and Nilima enjoy eating a vegetable made of kachnar flowers. In Kerala, Yamini wants her mother to cook her a vegetable made of banana flowers. Mamta and Omar, who are from Maharashtra, love pakoras made of sahajan flowers. Are flowers cooked in your home as a dry vegetable, a gravy dish or as a chutney? Find out which flowers are used for these. Flowers in Medicines Flowers are used to make many medicines as well. Find out names of any two flowers which are used for making medicines. Write your answers in the blank spaces. How is rose water used in your house? Is it used as a medicine, sweets, lassi or something else? Find out and tell others. Colors from flowers Colors are made from many flowers like marigolds, zinnia, etc. These colors can also be used to dye cloth. Page 91 Find out and write the names of some more flowers that are used for making colors. Give your answer in the blank space. Can you think of a color of which there is no flower? Write your answer in the blank space. Write the names of such flowers which are used to make scents. There is blank space provided for your answers. On the right corner of this page, we have a picture of a grandmother along with her granddaughter. The grandmother is making a recipe. Below the picture we have the text. You may have heard of some of Granny's old recipes which use flowers. Here is a recipe for which rose water is used. Granny's Recipe Mix equal part of rose water and glycerin. Fill this in a bottle. Add a few drops of lemon juice. In winters, use this mixture on your skin. Your skin will not crack or dry. There is a blue box under this with some text. Have you experienced the smell on opening a small bottle of itr? Do you know, even a small bottle of itr is made from lots and lots of flowers. The Kannauj district in Uttar Pradesh is famous for itr. Truckloads of flowers are brought from neighboring areas for this purpose. Itr, rose water, kevra water are prepared from flowers here. Thousands of people in Kannauj are engaged in this work. For the teacher, Encourage children to locate Uttar Pradesh, Kerala and Maharashtra on the map. Discuss with children that Itra is a pure extract of flowers. Page 92 Other Uses Have you ever read or heard any songs about flowers? Let us sing this song. Achhi Malan मेरे बनने का बनाला सेहरा बागे जन्नत गई मालन मेरी फूलों के लिए फूल न मिले तो कलियों का बनाला सेहरा गुड गार्डनर मेक फॉर माय बन्ना अ गार्लैंड ऑफ फ्लावर्स शी वेंट लुकिंग फॉर फ्लावर्स इन द गार्डन इन हेवन मेक अ गार्लैंड ऑफ फ्लावर बर्ड्स if there are no flowers. Talk about it. Do you know when such songs are sung? Do you or anybody else at home know other such songs? Collect songs, poems, etc. on flowers. Write them down 
and put them up in the classroom. Are there any special flowers used on certain occasions or festivals by your elders? Make a list of different occasions and the flowers used at each. A table is given below. The first column heading is Occasion or Festivals. The second column heading is Name of Flower. Fill in the two columns with your answers. For the teacher, Banna, Bridegroom. Ask children what they call bridegroom in their area. Page 93 Of course, if there are so many uses of flowers, then we need lots and lots of flowers. Flowers are grown in many places. Imagine fields full of flowers, extending for miles together. How beautiful! Let us know some more. Have you ever seen anyone selling flowers anywhere? If there are any flower sellers nearby, ask them these questions and write. What are the different flowers that they sell? Ask them the names of three flowers. Write your answers in the blank spaces. Where do they bring these flowers from? Write your answer in the blank space. Why do people buy flowers? Give your answer in the space provided. In what forms do flower sellers sell their flowers? Look at these pictures. Tick against those forms that you have seen. Below this question are three pictures of different flowers and blank spaces are provided below them for you to tick. Page 94 Three more pictures of flowers are given on top of this page with spaces below them for you to tick. Below the pictures is the question. Any other form that you have seen? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Have you seen flowers offered at many religious places? What do we do when they dry up? How will you use them? Some flowers are used in different forms, like rose and marigold are used in garlands and as loose petals too. Find out the prices of these different forms. One flower, dash. One garland, dash. One bouquet, dash. Has the flower seller learned to make bouquets or a net of flowers from anybody? From whom? Give your answer in the blank space. Would they like the other members of their family to do this work? Why? Give your answer in the blank space provided. Page 95 Let us do this activity. You could do this in groups of five or six each. Collect flowers that have fallen from trees or plants and bring them to the class. Spread these flowers neatly between the sheets of an old newspaper. Make sure that the flowers do not touch each other. Now put a heavy object on the newspaper. Leave it pressed for 10 to 15 days at one place. After this, take out all the flowers very carefully and prepare a scrap book. You can take a used notebook or old newspapers for this. You can also use these dried flowers to make pretty cards. Draw a flower of your choice and write its name below. A blank rectangular box has been provided for you to draw the flower and write its name. For the teacher, Encourage children to observe flowers closely. The children should be helped to group flowers based on easily observable characteristics.
like number of petals, colors, whether in bunches or not, etc. The chapter 11 of total 27 chapters of the book ends here.